What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Cruz, that came out the Audio Cat here with a very, very important video for you guys today. One of the biggest problems that Dodge owners are having, man, is the theft of their cars. And today we have a special guest here, man. Y'all saw that I posted on my Instagram of a car that was stolen in Dallas. He literally came to the store, sold me some shoes, went to the gym. A couple minutes later, 30 minutes or so, he came outside, found broken glass on the floor where his car was located, and they had stolen his car. He was very lucky to be able to recover the vehicle. Uh, they parked it about a mile and a half away at an apartment complex, and this is not a new thing, this is a common thing. So most people who have these Dodges, Chargers, and Challengers, they are definitely a big commodity for the theft world, especially if it's a wide body. So we've been working and playing with a lot of different people to come up with some ideas, and we have a great, great idea to stop this, but today we're gonna bring you a video of something that's gonna stop them from doing what they do. So when they come to your car, they break a glass, usually it's the back quarter glass or the back glass, they come inside, unlock the door, your alarm goes off, they open up your hood, they remove the horn fuse from your vehicle so the horn's not going off no more, and then at that point in time, they come to the middle of the car, they use the emergency neutral switch of the vehicle, put the car in neutral, roll it out, and then they go ahead at that point in time and grab a car and just push it from the back and take it to an apartment complex. The reason they take it to the apartment complex is they let it sit there for a few days, usually two to three days, to make sure nobody else comes against the car that you have an additional GPS tracking device before they remove it from there and take it to where they're going to. Because today we're gonna show you something very special of how you're gonna be able to prevent this from happening, man. I mean, if they really want the car, guys, I'm gonna tell you they're gonna come take the car, either carjack you, so on. But there is measures you could do to make it harder for them to take yours and just jump to the next one if you're the unlucky guy who doesn't do what you need to do. So when they get to these cars, like I said, they come to neutral, they put the car in neutral, I'll show you this in this video. They come, some of the guys are really high tech, have what they call a relay box where they come by your home or your, your residence or wherever you're at and they actually could be by your vehicle one box and actually go out with another box to scan all the RFID tags in the house and see what your matches are on the car. Edit. And then the other thing that they do is they come to the ODB and they plug in and they actually just go ahead and uh, program a new key like if they're in a dealership or a locksmith programming a key. But today we got a guy, guy here, man, he's known as 392 Kid on Instagram. This is Daniel here today. He is the one that owns this white car I'm gonna show y'all right now and got this car stolen. He was able to recover it. He just got the car back from the dealership from doing all of the repairs of this car when they damaged it, man. So on this video, I'm gonna show you pictures and video of the damages that I know you have, right? Yeah. So he'll show me the pictures and I'll put them on his thing so you can see exactly what we're talking about. But first, I'm gonna show you something very important. Let me show you how this works out. Bring it forward again. Bring it forward so we can show them how this works. So in the bay right now, I'm gonna show you. I'm, Josh is actually bringing the car into the bay showing you how this is done. So right now, I'm gonna just give you a, just a demo of what they do. So the vehicle's off, right? Let's just throw off the vehicle, Josh. So give me the key of the car so they know if the key's not present so they can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna give this key to Dan, you actually, Gordo, put this key somewhere away from the vehicle. Now go ahead and try to start the car. It tells you that there's no key detected, right? Okay, so now we're there. So now what they do, they break the glass, they come to the vehicle, they remove this little cubby hole that you see right there which is this little cubby hole right here and then there's a little thing in the back that they grab now watch this he pulls it forward now guys let's push the car back and i'm gonna show you guys what's going on so they just stole this car look this dog is rolling out of the bay right now if they wanted to they stole this car from the shop or from wherever this car parked that that simple maneuver but they also do this in the process let me show you so he's gonna bring it back in i'm gonna show you guys something else that they do on these cars right now like i said he just got this car back and watch this hit the horn you see the horn's not going off? This is the reason why. I'm going to show y'all right now what else they do. Open up the hood of this car, Josh. They come to the fuse box and they remove the fuse for the horn. I'm going to show it to y'all right here. If you look at your list. So it wasn't the fuse they removed on this case. They actually removed the relay. I'm going to show you. Hit the horn, Josh. Nothing, right? Now watch. I'm going to just move this relay over, which we're going to have to go by and put this in place for him. Now we put it here. Hit the horn. Now we got the horn. So what they do, they actually get this relay right here and they actually take it off and that's how they stop the horn from going off in the factory security system. So right there, that's one thing that we're gonna be showing you what we do on this. But right now we're gonna show you how to install a thing that comes out from Destroyer Cat 1320. It is a security lockout measure that it stops the car from being pulled into neutral, which is how they do this car. So Josh, let me get to the other side and show you something. All right, so like I said, this is the pocket. They use this up, the car is now in neutral. Now we're gonna show you what we can do to stop that from happening. So we're gonna remove this paneling from the vehicle. Get the customer's change out the way. <laughs> All right, put it back in this console. Now I'm gonna get it to removing the center console piece here. 
he has trim lighting, so we have to get that removed. Alrighty. So now he's gonna get this area removed, and now we're gonna come into installing this box here. He can let him get into that. Good, just connect the wire there. All right, so we removed the plug that was there, give it some access, and now he's gonna come in here and start removing these bolts here. Not a hard install, but it's definitely gonna help a lot with getting these cars um, stopped being stolen so easily. Anything you could do to prevent is what you're gonna do. So he removes that right there. Little finicky remote. All right, so now you see those two bolts that are removed. And now he's going to go and install this. You see that? Very good. It has the word front on it, so you can know exactly where it has to go. And let's put it in. So now what we're doing, we're putting this little box inside there. Let him get that in there a minute, guys. This may not save you from getting a broken glass, but it'll save you from getting the car stolen. That's for sure. Boom. Alrighty. Just like that, this piece is installed, right? So now when they come to your car, and plug everything back in. Now when they come to your car and they open your car, now they have no longer have access to get to the emergency uh, neutral safety. Cause this is probably not gonna, you know, it, it's gonna be more of a deterrent, man, but I am gonna tell you something right now. Something deterrent is a lot better. On these cars, we're also offering other packages as a RFID, uh, kit that you add along to your key and what that allows you to do is that if you don't have that tag with you The car will not start even if you have the factory key. We also do GPS which we also did on this one uh, On certain cars we put three four of them because these guys are really good and they're hidden locations So we can't disclose but we do do it so you can GPS track your vehicle. We also do in this car an ODB uh, Removal so remove the ODB plug and put it completely we remove the ODB plug and we put it completely somewhere else uh, where they can't get the computer access because that can prevent them from being able to come in the car, program a new key. If they try to start it, if they got a copy from the dealership key, they will not be able to stop. Uh, start the vehicle with the key even if they get into the vehicle and also the neutral safety switch so they won't be able to put the car neutral but also if we're also doing it where they can't um, you know basically try to make it a, a car to possibly steal these cars so no key fob gonna work no um, getting to the car neutral no programming a new key and GPS tracking the kicker they come with a tow truck man this is gonna be signed sealed delivery we're gonna get to the customer they want to give you guys the information man because it's important that you guys know we have to kind of work in the Mopar community to stop the theft um, it's very difficult but we're gonna do the best we can here out of your zone 1230 north beltline road here in irving texas man shout out to um 1320 destroyer destroyer 1320 for this beautiful idea that you got and uh, if you need your security need just come check us out man we're gonna help you keep your car and your driveway a lot longer you be good god bless yeah.